Close your eyes and watch your breath. Tell yourself you're going to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Get the mind to settle down. Have a place where it feels at ease in the present moment. If the breath doesn't feel comfortable, you can change it so that it gets more comfortable. If it feels too short, you can make it longer. If you feel like you're not getting enough energy down into the body, make the breath deeper down into the body. In other words, get a sense of what needs to be done right now. This is a gift to yourself you're giving right in the present moment, a gift of well-being. You don't have to breathe in a way that's uncomfortable. If you do, you find that you got yourself in a bad mood, the body isn't functioning properly. You suffer, the people around you begin to suffer too. So here's a good way, place to start. This way you're doing good for yourself and you're doing good for other people too. We're in this season now where people are giving gifts, and it's good to remember there's some gifts that when you give to yourself you give to others, and the gifts are free, often the best gifts there are. If you can create a good state of mind right now, then people will be dealing with a person who has a good state of mind, and that's something really pleasant here in this in our day and age. Everybody seems to be exasperated, irritated, upset about something right now. So try to get a sense of well-being inside, so that you're coming from a place of well-being rather than a place of irritation. That way you can think about what other gifts you might be giving to people, like the gift of your speech. The way we speak is our one of our treasures as a human being, and yet we don't treat it as a treasure. Often we treat it like trash. Whatever, whatever trash is in the mind, we just throw out around the people around us. That's not a gift at all. Think of what kind of speech would be a gift to others. The Buddha said there are three qualities. One is that it's true. The second is that it's beneficial and it actually does help those people in one way or another. And then three, it's timely. You know the right time and place to say things that sound nice, and when you have to be critical, you look for the right time and place to be critical. In other words, you look for the way, a way of showing the other person that you still respect that person, even though you're going to be saying something critical about them. You don't just throw out your negative comments. You wait to see what's the right time, what's the right place. This way you show care in your speech. And when you show care in how you speak, people will treat it as a gift. After all, how much truth is there in the world out there? And There's a lot of truthiness, and there's a lot of untruths going around. As for beneficial, so much of what's said is really not beneficial at all. It's actually harmful. And people who take the time to look for the right time in the right place are very rare indeed. So this is one way you can give a free gift to the people around you, and it's a much, much better gift than something material. Material gifts are nice for a while and then they get old. But the gift of right speech, in other words, true, beneficial, and timely, that's something that goes straight to the heart. The fact that you took the time, you took the care to make sure that what's coming out your mouth and going into that other person's ear is something really worthwhile. So here you're giving a gift to yourself, you become a person of more worth in your speech. And it's a gift to others. And as I often say, the best gifts in life are free. It takes time, it takes energy, but it's time and energy well spent. So that your speech, instead of being just trash you're throwing out of the dark spaces of your mind, becomes actually a gift that you are happy to give to others and they're happy to receive. <laughs>